family. There's potentially decades of atrophy to contend with. But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. We had no idea what was coming. Response from the cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. All right. Would you look at this? Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. I'm still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. G.I. Joe Gamer here. Commander, and today to the we are playing class. some XCOM 2. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. You've seen the opening scene. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology. Commander, Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. All right, so this is a brand new game. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. 
I'll contact you when I have a full that I just available. recently picked up. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the and armory. Boys. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the guys talk to a lot. get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. All right. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance, <laughs> capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. As I was saying, welcome back to a brand new game that I recently picked up. I'm going to be going ahead and doing a little bit of a series on this. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. I highly encourage you guys to stay tuned as the story is a very well written story. To the, bridge. the voice acting is pretty amazing. Even the animations look you, awesome. Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander. Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Alright, so this is a turn-based strategy game. You control a squad of units. As you can see, this is my starting squad right here. They may die, they may live. Let's see how they survive in my hands. XCOM 2, it's a little bit of an older game. It's still fairly recent though. We're facing up against the Advent. <coughs> And I've watched some of a playthrough of this game. Finally picked it up with the Steam Summer Sale. Figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. So that's what we're doing. Moving out on our first mission. forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all, all costs. Alright, briefing, recover the advent power converter. Objective, neutralize all enemy targets. And recover converter. In the wilderness, New India. Um, this game is amazing, guys. I've played, at the time of recording this, a couple hours now. Um, because I am recording these ahead of time and then doing a voiceover. So, here we go. Sliding down into our first mission. Commander, getting a fix on the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time. Alright, there it is. Goes. It's gonna explode if we don't get to it. Let's go, team. Come on. Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read All on right, the situation. Alright, so we currently are in concealment, meaning the advent do not know we're here. There's our full, our four squad right there. We got one shotgunner, three assault rifles. And... Yeah, we're about to push up. Uh, there's two, two actions, as you can see, with those two arrows under her health right there. You can take a blue movement and a shot or another action, or you can do two movements, and that's all you get. Again, it is turn-based strategy. As you can see right now, I'm going ahead and moving up into cover. Moving out. You know, just checking things out. Um, don't want to rush into this too quickly. Got it. Alien activity. Oh, there we go. Our first alien, guys. Our first. Ooh, two. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. 
Okie dokie. So now we're going to go ahead and move up even more. Go ahead and use that I'm double right. movement action to get him as close as possible. Again, we're still pushing up into cover. Very important. That way, if they do spot us and start shooting, we'll be somewhat safe. As you can see, the area will show whether or not they can see us. However, I do have to keep in mind that they may move around. And if they do, now. I'll get caught. Overwatch. Stepping off. A little bit of a close cam there. Alien activity. Alright, they're walking away. They appear to be a little bit of a patrol. Don't need to be too worried about them yet. <clears throat> Alright, looks like one of them turned around right there. Now. Alright, just We're using the blue location. movement, and then I go into Overwatch right here. Which means that if an enemy moves in his line of sight, he will fire. I think I go ahead and do that with all my characters, just moving them up into cover. Rolling. And sending. Alright, two more here. enemies over there, another officer and another grunt. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. We got the objective in sight. Okay, you should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. Alright, so we have to get up to that and hack into it. So again, just putting everybody in overwatch, getting them into safe positions. Looks like he unfortunately will not be able to do that. And we're going to use the double movement here just to get them up and close. Half our squad in overwatch. You know, prepared and ready. That that patrol is returning back towards our um, our squad, our unit, whatever you want to call them. Still no sight though. Although I can't move too much more without being spotted. So I'll go ahead and pull. Oh wait, scan in the area. All right, we got four contacts so far. Two officers, two grunts. We know the officers are a little bit more tanky and will not be able to get one shot. Here I was looking at the little line that shows you the path he's going to take, whether or not I can safely get over there. So right here I could. I think I do go ahead and just get up. Oh, maybe not. Again, you want to play this super safe, super careful. Alright, yep. So I move him all the way up. Uh, these characters I'm not really too attached to yet because obviously like... Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater... Alright, sonic potential. potential, and now we have seven enemies. Uh, as I was saying... Um, what was I saying? Oh, I totally forgot, guys. Alright, again, slowly moving up. Cover, a little bit lackluster right here. Now. Just taking that cover right there, aiming up at the patrol. Go ahead, move um, Mateo back here as well. Interesting position right there, I'm not sure why I did that. That was terrible positioning. Go ahead and throw him in overwatch, go ahead and throw her in overwatch. Scanning. And we still have Jane, who is the shotgunner, so we want to get her up close and personal. Again, way. no cover, so if they move and we get spotted, they could get shot extremely easily. I need to be very careful here. Eyes on the prize. Patrol is moving. Patrol has spotted us. These guys make up the Overwatch the triggered. Forces we've dealt with. Their discipline their obedience Four damage. Complete whiff. And the officer number one is down. Officer number one is down. Promotion earned, but three of our soldiers have fired. He did miss, which was good. Now, what will these guys do? Alright, one goes for the flank, one pushing straight up, taking cover. The 
advent troops from the back also moving up. One shot taken, complete miss. That was close. And it's back to me. So, we have um, six cronies now to deal with, I believe. So how exactly are we going to do that? So uh, right here, I was experimenting with the different zooms, looking at different levels. Rangers are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. In the right situation, they can prove high. All right, that officer is really low on HP. Actually, no, that's just showing. So Slash will not actually be able to kill that officer. As you can see, we have a 66% chance to shoot him, 51 for him, 24 for him, 66%, and the yellow means it's a flank, so it's a critical hit. Go ahead and move Mateo up into a little bit of cover. Smart move. 74% chance to hit with a critical. I'll take that. And that is one more grunt down. Alright, our right side is now clear. We have three more units to be able to go ahead and use. Moving um, one unit real close. Fire weapon right in his face. Four damage, unfortunately, that will leave him with two HP. Now, how am I going to deal with this? Andrea, moving okay. up into a defensive position, going up into Overwatch just in case. Oh, no. Do I take this shot? Really? Alright. Alright, no, I do go into Overwatch. Okay, smart play there, Geo. Smart play. And my slash attack, I can go ahead and run in and kill this guy for certain, however, not in cover anymore. A little bit of a scary predict uh, predicament right no there. Alien's turn triggers the overwatch of Andrea. That's another grunt down. So far, we only have one grunt and one psionic dude left. Another promotion earned right there. I take that back. We have two grunts and a psionic. Alright, now at the time I had no idea what he was doing right here. And he did go ahead. And I think he actually. No, there we go. He, ooh, taking our first damage so in good. the game ever. Right there. That's the that's the problem with that slash attack. It put him right or put her right out in the middle of nowhere. Commander, we're running out of time here. If we don't stabilize the converter soon, I don't think anybody. Three more turns until today. that converter is going to go ahead and blow up. I know I need to get to that sort of soon while maintaining good firepower pushing out to protect ourselves from those advent forces. I go ahead and send Jane up here to go ahead and um, deactivate the converter because she is damaged. I don't want her to be in the front lines. Okay. Ooh, triggers. Please explain that. What? <laughs> Triggers an overwatch which shoots a truck. Alright, so this psionic is mind controlling the dead guy. Oh man, oh boy. Just wait, just wait guys. You'll, you'll love what comes up. Alright, I can go ahead and hack this, which will complete one of our objectives. There we go, the detonator is disarmed. It's now safe. But can we take out the remaining four advent forces? Alright, unfortunately Mateo really far back. Looks like I'm going to go ahead and move him up into sort of cover. Half cover is what it's called. And probably just put him up in overwatch. His chances of attack, 25 and 25. Terrible chances. We'll go ahead and throw him in overwatch. As you can see in the bottom right, that is the ammo left in our weapons. It does take one action to reload. So one turn, basically. Alright. Getting her up on the truck behind that half cover. Gives her a little bit of a height advantage as well. Still terrible chances to hit. Go ahead and throw her in Overwatch as well. Alright, now Andrea. Andrea, Andrea. Terrible chances. 
He's right there. I figure, eh, screw it. We'll take the shot and kill another grunt. Three advent dudes left. One of them a reanimated dead. Go ahead and throw Mateo into Overwatch. Kind of useless back there, but it's just that extra firepower just in case. And... She's panicked. And is going to run right smack dab into the middle of the enemy units. He takes this shot right here, completely misses, thankfully. Incoming fire! That truck really gives you a bad rate. Um, Overwatch triggered! What an amazing shot. Another Overwatch triggered. Hey, that's my boy! Uh oh. It's just a dead guy, I can't do that much damage, right? Guys, if you could have seen my face. One HP, a dead reanimated guy, and he one shots. One shots. My dude. Roger that. At this point, I was like, you know what, screw it, Mateo, get up there. And then I accidentally moved and didn't attack. And oh boy. This was where it got a little risky, guys. I did not mean to take that second move action. But luckily enough we do have a 96% chance shotgun to the face saves Mateo the dead guy is down now we just have one grunt and one psionic dude left will we be able to take them out time will tell aliens turn truck back there explodes we were nowhere near it though psionic is moving up and then runs back the grunt is circling up behind the rock for more cover and takes a shot, completely misses. That grunt back there really sucks at the game, just saying. Panic has been removed, which means we will now be able to use her shoot accurately. 51% chance. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Oh. No. Yeah, there you go. Get up right close and personal. Destroy him. Alright, I run right up beside him. Safe to do, fire weapon, 85% chance, definite critical, to the face. Good riddance. Motion earned, there we go. Mateo, I tried to see if I could pick up that dead guy and revive him. It just wasn't going to work, guys. I, I tried, I looked, it, it, it wasn't going to happen. So, go ahead and do a slash attack, 6 to 8 damage. I know that I'll take out most of his HP right here. There we go, an 8. Perfect roll. He should only have... Oh, he's dead. Just like that, folks, he is now dead. Taken care of. Looks like something over here. And we have an Illyrium core. That guy's a Status this. confirmed. Mission accomplished. Prepare for evac. One soldier killed, one soldier wounded. Rating good. I don't know how that's a good rating. We killed 8 out of 8 enemies and completed the objective, though. On our way back to base right now. New record, new record, new record, new record. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? 100% shot percentage though. We did not miss any of our attacks. Yet. Emphasis on the yet, guys. Oh, you guys are going to love this series. I, I, just, I just know it. Deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you too. Shen wants to have a word. Uh oh. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. All right, new ability aid protocol. We now have a little droid to help us out. That is the specialist. Go ahead and promote our ranger. We can take our first ability. Blade Master. All sword attacks deal 2 extra damage, have 10 extra aim. Or Phantom. When the squad is revealed, the soldier remains concealed. I do go ahead and take the Blade Master. And last but not least, Mateo Rossi. 
Our demolitions expert. experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Look at those guns, man. That is a cannon and a grenade launcher. New ability, launch grenade. He can fire the grenades farther than throwing them, obviously. These items should prove we now have this power ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander. I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from the early. Alright, let's go talk. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. Here we go, here we go, our little home headquarters right here. Let's go chat with Shen. <coughs> okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander. But I should be able to put some of the stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with a med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. All right, med kit it is. I'm on it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him Let's in go the chat lab. with Doctor Tygen. Research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. So now you want me to go kill a... Sergeant or captain added. even. Great. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Alright, so apparently we have to go kill a alien captain. So we can discover the true purpose of this uh, chip. 
that was in my occipital, occipital, occipital lobe, some part of my brain. So, looking at what to research next, modular weapons. You can always use better weapons, right? <clears throat> We do not have yet a scientist to help with the sectoid. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing so let's get options some better available. Weapons. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. We're ready for you on the bridge. Just stay clear of the perimeter, understood? Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer, yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. And there you have it, folks. We're exploring the world. We're ready to start making moves, Commander. By hitting Advent wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. All right, we got a new mission. Eastern U.S. destroy the alien relay. Operation Wolf. Is it Sega or Saga? Not sure. Commander, it There's looks our like team. Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they All deploy. Alright, we'll go ahead and equip a med kit on this guy. Maybe. Who am I going to put it on? Um, I put it on dude with the funky hair. Brown. A Ricky Brown. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and I will catch you in the next episode of XCOM 2.